Mathematics 9709, May June 2015, Paper 12, Question 7. The point C lies on the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the point A with a coordinate 4, 6, B 10, 2. C also lies on the line parallel to AB through 3, 11. So first question. Find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB. So let me simplify this question. So there is this point C, which lies on the perpendicular bisector of A and B. So let me take uh, two coordinates. For example, let this be A, this be B this point. Let's take the perpendicular bisector, this one. There is a point C on this perpendicular bisector that is 3, 11. Just let's take the point C to be here, which is, um, sorry, there is a point C which also lies on the perpendicular bisector. Then the question is that there is another line parallel to AB that passes through 3, 11. So there is another point which is parallel to AB. So we don't know where it is. I'm not going to plot it. So first question is find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB. So first question, they're asking us to find the equation of, equation of this perpendicular bisector line. To proceed, we know the coordinate A. We know the coordinate B. So first thing that we have to do is first find this midpoint. So first thing that we have to do is find the midpoint of A and B. Then you need to find the gradient of A and B. After that, find the normal, that is gradient of the normal, So first thing, we'll find the midpoint. Also, we'll find the gradient of AB. Then also, we'll find the normal to this gradient. So the gradient of the normal to this line, AB. Written it here. To find the midpoint, we take the x-coordinate of A, sum with the X coordinate of B. So 10 plus 4, that is 14 divided by 2. So the coordinate, X coordinate for the midpoint is 7. Y coordinate, 6 plus 2 divided by 2. So 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So this midpoint has an X coordinate 7, Y coordinate 4, so the coordinate is 7, 4. Now finding the gradient of AB, that is Y2 minus Y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 minus y1, let me take it as 6 minus 2. y2 x2 minus x1, so 4 minus 10. So I get as minus 2 by 3. Now to find the normal, we know that to find the gradient of the normal, we take minus 1 over the gradient that we are considering. So if you want to find the gradient of this value, you have to take it as minus 1 over gradient of this line. So minus 1 over minus 2 by 3. So the gradient of the normal is 3 by 2. Now to find the equation, we have y minus y1 is equal to m, which is the gradient x minus x1. Since we are finding the perpendicular bisector, perpendicular bisector will be at the midpoint and the gradient will be normal to this gradient. So y minus this y1 is going to be the y coordinate of the midpoint. So y minus 4. The gradient is going to be the gradient of the normal, that is 3 by 2 x minus x1 is going to be the x coordinate of midpoint. Now all we have to do is simplify. So 3 
by 2 into x is 3x by 2. 3 by 2 minus 7 is minus 21 by 2. Since 2 is common, I can take it to the other side. It becomes 2y minus 8 is equal to 3x minus 12. So leaving 2y as the subject, take minus 8 to the other side. So 3x minus 21 plus 8, I get minus 13. I call this as my equation 1. This is my equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB. The next point, uh, the next part of the question says calculate the coordinate C. Now that we know that there is a line which is parallel to AB passing through this line. And you know perpendicular bisector also passes through C. So what we have to do, first we have to find the equation of the parallel line. If an equation, if a, if a line is parallel to the line AB, then the gradient of that parallel line will be the same gradient of AB, which is minus two by three. We can have, we already have a coordinate that passes through the parallel line, which is three comma 11. Using this information, let's find the equation of the parallel line. So here it is. We know that our, our, our line, the parallel line passes through three comma 11. We know the gradient is the same gradient of the line AB. So y minus the x, y axis is 11. Gradient is minus two by three. X minus x coordinate is three. All we have to do is simplify. So three goes this side. Three y minus 33 is equal to minus two into x minus two x. Minus two into minus three is plus six. I make three y as the subject. So we get this equation too. Now we know that the point C lies on this line as well as the point C lies on the equation one as well. So when we solve this equation, the value that we get for X and Y is going to be the coordinate of C. In other words, the point of intersection of equation one and two is going to be the, uh, the coordinate of C. The first equation, we, ha we had 2y is equal to 3x minus 13. So I made y as my subject, so I get this way. I'm solving it by substitution. I have taken this y, equation 1, and substituted here. So I got 3 into 3x minus 13 by 2 is equal to minus 2x plus 39. By simplifying, I get a value for x. So making x as the subject, I get 13x is equal to 117, in which x is equal to 9. This is the x coordinate of c. Now it's easy for us to find y. We can substitute x is equal to 9 in place of equation 1 or equation two. I'm substituting in equation one. My equation one is three y is equal to minus two x plus 39. Sorry, this is my equation two. So I substitute in place of x as nine. So three y is equal to minus two into 19 plus 39 gives me 21. So y is equal to 21 divided by three. I get y is equal to seven. So the coordinate of C is 9 comma 7. So this is my final answer. I hope you understood. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get notified with new videos.